Hi guys, this is Tom Crandall from 10kstepsdaily.com and what I have today or what I'm going to be showcasing is some stuff from Joby. So Joby makes these really cool what they're called gorilla pods or sort of tripods that you can bend in all different directions and so uh, one of the gorilla pods they sent was the SLR uh, zoom here. So this is a gorilla pod. Also got the gorilla pod focus. This is a larger um, gorilla pod than the zoom so you can sort of see the size difference here um, also uh, was uh, sent the ball head X and so the ball head X is uh, just a ball head that goes on top and you're gonna want to have a ball head on these gorilla pods because once you sort of position them in the weird way that you can um, the ball head allows you to level out the actual camera on top so um, with the focus this is uh, I have a Canon 70D on top of the focus here and you notice I have the ball head as well and so if I you know if I position maybe had this thing wrapped around something something like that and I wanted to move the camera so that it's level I just use a ball head and then I can level it out as needed um, one of the things that I wish Joby had done with these ball head X's is there's no leveling bubbles on these and so you can put a, a cold shoe level in, in, in the top here. I guess it's a hot shoe, but you can put a, a, a bubble in the top here to level it out. But it would have been nice to actually have it on the ball head so you don't have to use one. Um, it would just be there. And then I also have here with the SLR zoom, I'm using a GoPro. So this is the GoPro 4 Silver and so I have it on here and it makes for a really convenient setup um, so you can hold it out here if you want to do some vlogging or something like that and have it point at you. You'll notice that I have a microphone on top. This is a, a Rode VideoMic Pro. also have the Dead Cat and I have this little railing on top here and so the advantage of the railing is if I didn't have the railing this would stick out too far and it would be in the viewable area when I'm shooting the GoPro but now with the railing I can move it back um, chances are I'm gonna tr probably cut this because it doesn't really need to be this long I just needed to move the dead or the whole unit here just a little bit further back and it should be good um, when you hook up an external mic to a GoPro, you're going to want to have a skeleton case. And in, in this particular case, this is an aluminum skeleton case. It has a nice cap on here. Also have a uh, little lens on top uh, to protect the actual lens inside. Let me just close that there. Unfortunately, with this particular uh, connector, mic connector, um, it turns off the rear screen. The four silver has a the rear LCD, and for whatever reason, when I plug this in, the LCD turns off. I unplug it and it turns back on. It sort of defeats the purpose of having an external mic if you can't see the viewable stuff in there. Um, and again, you'll notice that I have a, uh, a ball head here again this is a ball head X I like it it's uh, really good it's convenient there's other ball heads you can get but honestly I think this does the job what's neat about this ball head is it has three adjustment knobs uh, the first one up here at the top sort of see it uh, right here um, this allows you to remove the the plate the camera plate on the top there the second one this is a bigger knob this allows you to actually move the ball head so when I uh, release the tension you can see I can move the camera around as needed and then the third one which can be useful also right here this allows you to spin the ball head in 360 degree direction which is uh, actually really nice um, so far uh, I've really enjoyed using these gorilla pods I find them extremely useful especially for those who are out vlogging um, you can hand hold it as needed uh, you can wrap it around a pole or somewhere else you can just use it as a regular tripod and position the legs out in sort of a, a three-point position something like that um, and so I, I find those really helpful now one thing that I needed to get with the GoPro not this one but with the plastic case is I ended up buying 
I got some adapters here. And so one of the GoPro adapters has this quarter inch hole here so you can screw it in um, if you need to. And that was uh, called the, uh, it's just a GoPro tri tripod mount. So it allows you to mount it to tripods and it, I found it really useful. Um, other than that, um, I haven't really had any need for anything else yet. Um, I did order the uh, GoPro mic plug and hopefully if that works hopefully it won't turn off the rear screen and then I'll be good to go with this um, the only thing I'm going to do is just chop chop this maybe make it about half as long um, and, and it should be perfect I did some video uh, some time-lapse video if, if you guys are doing time lapses at all I love uh, the GoPro 4 and the uh, four silver and, and four black for that. Uh, nice thing about four silver, it's just a little easier to use with the touch screen on the back. Plus you can review what you shoot. Otherwise, if you buy the uh, four black, you can get an external uh, LCD that pops on, or I guess you could use your iPhone or Android phone or something like that to review what you're shooting. But I just find the, the you know, having the LCD on the backs really convenient. Uh, it doesn't stick out as far. I had a, a 3 Plus and I had the LCD that popped on the back and it just made it a little bit thicker on the back. And I'm waiting to see what GoPro does with the version 5 that will come out sometime uh, this year and see if they're gonna stick with the same camera body or go smaller or maybe uh, go a little bit different direction. But uh, so far, this has been awesome. Uh, I really dig these Gorilla Pods by Joby, and I thank you, Joby, for sending these out for us to take out and look at. The only uh, thing I would say about the SLR Zoom is these white rubber pieces here. Um, they do sort of get dirty after a while. Um, with the, the Zoom, these are black and gray, so it, the dirt just doesn't show up as much, which is really convenient. Um, having the uh, Canon uh, 70D on here is pretty big. Um, I have, for those that are doing some vlogging and want a sort of cheaper lens, this is the Canon uh, 1018, which is uh, about half the price of the Canon 1022. Um, probably is not as good as far as uh, picture quality. Um, you might not be able to tell. I don't know if I could tell. Um, but the cool thing about this is it has a stabilizer on the uh, 1018 and it also has autofocus, which is, is nice. Um, hadn't noticed any noise coming out of this lens at all uh, when it was doing any autofocusing, so it's, and it's pretty fast. The, the other cool thing about the 70D and now Canon came out with an 80D is uh, this flip out screen um, is pretty nice and you can flip it around. If, if I was gonna modify this at all, um, what I'd like to do is if you try to flip it around the other way, it stops. Would have been nice to have 360 degree turn with this flip out. And normally um, I'll have it flip back so I can view it. Um, one thing I've seen, I think uh, Casey Nestat uh, gave a little tip is he, he put some tape on the back here so it's a little easier to pull it open when you need to, uh, to shoot. And then of course, when you're done, always sort of push it back and have uh, the screen showing from the inside rather than the out. So if you get scratches and things like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so again, the, uh, the focus, it's a pretty heavy setup. If you have the VideoMic Pro on top, which I recommend is, is a great microphone, um, it's a big unit. So when you see guys like Casey out there and they got this set up, it's pretty heavy. But it is pretty cool. You do look like a professional when you're out there uh, shooting stuff and people come up and like, hey, what are you shooting? Uh, so it's a good way to meet uh, people. Um, and with the uh, 10kstepsdaily.com, um, I've actually uh, met people to, uh, and shown the website and say, hey, yeah, check us out. And so it was sort of an interesting way to connect with people that maybe I wouldn't have been able to connect with uh, before. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you like this video. 
definitely, if for those of you that are thinking about the Joby Gorilla Pods and for your cameras, uh, definitely check out the SLR Zoom and the Focus. I would say that if I was using a uh, something like the Canon 70D. Um, even though this can definitely hold it, uh, I just like the focus a little bit more. It just feels more sturdy, uh, just better put together uh, tripod. Um, but like if you have a GoPro or anything like that, or a smaller camera, uh, this, is, this is a pretty great tripod. And, and as far as weight, if you're uh, looking to save some weight or shave some weight, uh, the SLR Zoom is definitely lighter. I'm not sure exactly how much lighter, but it's uh, definitely lighter. So anyway, uh, hope you like this video. Please subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you later. And the reason I'm shooting on a, uh, a Canon uh, video camcorder right now, and once I have my uh, connection, I'll probably be doing more on the GoPro and on the 70, uh, 70D. But for now, uh, this is it. So you guys have a wonderful day.